A yeah, fantastic location, ladies and gentlemen. I'll just show you the streetscape here. So just down there where you can see that car, that's Young Street. And anyone who's local knows that if you turn left where that car's turning left and run down about probably, oh, only a few hundred metres, you're at the shopping centre in Civic Park. So even though I got it wrong there before, you've got the auction on the 23rd of October. You can see there on the sign at 11 and 11.30. So we've got the unit at the back and we've also got the house at the front. So running through, I'll just run past the front of the property. That's leaning back up the street towards Princess Highway, or Princess Way, I should say. Once again, only a couple of hundred metres. Turn right, and then you're back in the centre of town. Fantastic location. Uh, very close to um, all facilities. Lovely homes in the area. Brand new unit development across the road. But most of all, this location is stunning. So now let's have a look at the original home, probably built in the 40s. Looks like we've got a new roof there, color bond roof. But we'll have a look through. Now the purpose of this video, ladies and gentlemen, is to show you in detail warts and all. So I'm gonna pick out not only the good points, but some of the bad points as well. A bit of wear and tear on the front steps and front deck. You can see there, could use a bit of a sand back or varnish. You've got the original double hung windows in here. Lovely feature door entry with the frosted glass. All the weatherboards appear to be in very good condition from what I can see. I'll be getting to the point of needing a repaint at some stage, but right now I don't think it's going to need it any time soon. Just show you down the side of the property here, down the right side this is. Bit of a fernery covered in area. Got the ducted heating unit down there and also the hot water service. The private courtyard. So this was the original home. Now we'll wander inside. Formal entry carpet's been replaced at some point. It's actually not in bad condition. High ornate ceilings, beautiful um, original um, featured ceilings in the entry and in the living area and bedrooms. We'll move through to probably main bedroom or to the left of the hall. You've got the lovely uh, large kickboards there. Picture rails, decorative cornices and ceiling. Get a load of that. You don't see that these days. Beautiful bit of architecture from the period. Beautiful double hung windows here. And working perfectly. I probably won't go through all of them, but the front ones both working perfectly this one has a built-in robe it's obviously been put in at a later stage now we'll head across to the other bedroom on the other side as I said ducted gas heating before same again in here got the uh, double hung windows lovely picture rails and beautiful ceilings again Built-in robes in this one as well. A little bit smaller than the other bedroom. Here you've got your formal lounge room, which has the original, looks like a gas space heater there. Well, probably not original, that probably would have been put in the 70s or 80s, I suppose. Magnificent ceilings again in the main living room. Now, you might be able to pick out on the video there, you can probably see an archway around the door. So that's because this room in here used to be a dining room, but it's now been converted to a bedroom. So probably wouldn't be too hard if you wanted to put that back. As you can see, this one doesn't have the same sort of ceilings 
um, as the lounge room and the two front bedrooms. Built in robe again, very decent sized rooms. Moving through the back. Got a lovely sunroom here. That's the afternoon, what is it, about four o'clock, so getting a nice bit of westerly aspect there. To the right, you've got laundry, laundry tub. Looks like you've got a bit of a hidey hole up there, a bit of a storage area. Above, toilet. which has its own little wash basin. Opposite, you've got the kitchen. Tiled floor through here. Laminate, I, this has obviously been updated since the 40s. Quite good condition though. And got a relatively new looking stove there, as you can see. The old fireplace, I don't believe, is operational anymore but it's there as a bit of character. Across the other side of the uh, little sunroom, you've got the bathroom. Basic vanity, got a heat lamp in there for those cold mornings. Separate bath and a second toilet. Over this side, you've got the shower in the opposite corner, just a single size. Moving outside now into the courtyard. Bit of a pergola here, not overly big, but enough to sort of keep the weather off the door. Separate access here back to your car space. There is no carport or garage on this one. But a lovely private courtyard. And then through, we have a little utilities room or workshop. Got a little workshop storage shed, a couple of built-in shelves there. And an outdoor heater out here, but I don't think that's operational. We might just uh, not give any guarantees around that one. And then back down, a little garden shed here, and then this goes back into that fernery section, which we saw from the front. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, 13 Hopeton Road, coming to auction uh, later this month. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to reach, like us on Facebook or reach out, contact Elise Davidson or any of our staff in the office. We'd be more than happy to assist you. We look forward to seeing you soon.